Having done the hard yard studying medicine, Maboa is now a GP and Wisani is specializing in psychiatry. They have two daughters, a dream home and different versions of how it all began. We actually met at medical school. Um, I was walking to the library and I just saw her and I immediately fell in love with her. Actually it's not that, you know what happened, I was sitting with a friend of mine in the library and this guy came, dreads and all and you know looking like a, yeah, rascal and I thought wow. And I was surprised because I could feel he's interested but I don't know, there was a girlfriend so I thought he's one of those third year players waiting for the first years, you know, so I ignored him from there on. Yeah, our time at medical school was actually very, very nice. Um, I got to know her very well, and she was actually a companion that I actually wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Um, everything was just smooth sailing from then onwards. A carefully negotiated traditional ceremony united her vendor clan with his Shangan family. It was a traditional wedding where we had to pay lowola and everything, so they charged me money and I had to go and actually pay for it. Not enough though, eh? They didn't charge him enough, I have to it say. It felt like a lot at the time. <laughs> this wedding did share the tab, and with the groom requesting unforgettable glitz and the bride an order of elegance and wow, it fell to creative director Anton Rotenbach to marry the two ideas. His business partner, Guy Granger, explains how three different table designs, 42,000 crystals, a field of purple hydrangeas and white orchids, all came together into this. It's really important to create interest by using different heights. So as you can see here, we have some candlelight that's low on the table. We have some that's raised on these crystal candlesticks. And what we've done here, which is quite a good idea, is instead of submerging the orchids into vases, we've lifted them up on these three cylinder vases, put a bed of twigs, and we've actually just rested the orchids in the twigs. And I think it gives a spectacular effect. 3,200 doilies and 700 meters of tissue paper may sound an odd compliment to the glam, but Anton had a plan. I took the old normal doilies that our grandmothers used to use, made them into little flower patterns, took tissue paper, created roses, adorned them with crystal and little diamantes, and then took them and put them into a chicken mesh ball, and then I basically created this ball that we actually took and hung from the actual chandeliers to bring the roof down and to create glamour. Summed up in a five-tier wedding cake of red velvet, chocolate mousse, strawberry and caramel cream and vanilla sponge cake. I wanted simple yet elegant, so I didn't want a very busy cake, but I wanted something that when you look at you go wow. How do you like my suit? It was actually created by Dianne Daniels. I love the silver striping that actually happens uh, through here. This gives it sort of like a, a more individualized feel. Um, I love the way it actually symbolizes uh, what the day is all about. The idea was just to break away from the groomsmen and actually make me look a bit more special in the day. For me, the reason why I chose that dress was that it sort of says this is what you deserve. This is what you waited so long for. For me, it's the wedding of my dreams. Finally, the waiting was at an end. Four years after their traditional ceremony, Maboa was now marrying Wisani with their daughters Kayla and Aurora as witnesses, and he found himself overwhelmed. When she was walking down the aisle, that was eye-watering. I just saw waterworks going everywhere, you know, that really blew me away. She looked so beautiful in that white dress as she was walking down the aisle. I totally loved that. Wisani's dress had been flown in from Europe. But Swarovski's and imported ball gowns aside, Maboa was her real prize. I'm finally legally, spiritually, you name it, married to him. So he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Except to the dance floor. What listeners of Maboa's medical radio show don't know is what a dancer he is. He had every gogo in the house on the move and friend Ashifa Shaba was most impressed. Lovely, money pick. Are we enjoying it, ne? <laughs> what well, is the best wedding I've ever been? I, I understand he's my brother. I'm not supposed to say things like that, but the atmosphere, the way everything has been conducted, just wonderful. 
One of the best weddings in Polopani actually. Loved and respected for taking care of those around them, the couple could now take some time for themselves. We got our glitz and glamour and partying and, and bling dancing. and elegance all mixed together. Yeah, so we totally enjoyed it really. It was, it was absolutely amazing. Thoughts of a honeymoon to New York, Bora Bora and Paris added a certain spring to their step. And after that, it's back to their consulting rooms. Top Billy.